Zimbabwe has moved 100 elephants from a congested conservancy in the south to another park near its border with Zambia. The new conservancy offers the elephants more to eat and more room to roam. However, the park has been stalked by poachers in the past. But now Zimbabwean wildlife officials say the poaching is under control. Columbus Mavunga reports for us from Harare. Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority says the elephant population in this part of the country has grown beyond what the land can sustain. As a result, the elephants are destroying the flora and fauna in Save Valley Conservance, a 600 square kilometers wildlife area in southeastern Zimbabwe, which was established in 1993. The conservance was given permission to cull the elephant population by 100 before another conservation agent asked if they could take in the animals. The answer was an enthusiastic yes. That is a highlight and success of conservation the way it's written in any book there is. I, I feel utterly elated. I am, it's a high emotional moment for me to see that 25 years of sweat and tears have come to this. After the animals are identified, spiked and numbered, they are ferried over a 700 kilometer distance to Rifa Safari Conservance, which is in a national park on the border with Zambia. The conservance is run by the Hemashbag Rhino Force. As the name suggests, the organization protects rhinos, not elephants. So, what is the interest in relocating elephants? Elephants are just the start. Uh, here in the Sambesi Valley, the black rhinos are coming from this area. This is our big objective. Zimbabwe Parks and Wildlife Management Authority removed the rhinos from this area after it realized that poachers operating on the porous border were decimating the endangered species population. It says, since President Emerson Munangako came to power in 2017, Zimbabwe has upped its anti-poaching patrols. There has been no cyanide poisoning of elephants, which was a problem in previous years, it says. Most of our borders, they are not uh, really watertight, but we have managed to put a stop because we are also involving communities so that they appreciate the importance of having these elephants so that they can also protect them. Previously, you know, communities will also be involved because they have not, they are not benefiting, but of late they've been benefiting from the resource. Roads are being uh, built, infrastructure development, their children are getting employed through the resources that are there. Now it remains to be seen if the elephants can attract tourists to Rifa Safari and survive the threat of poachers before rhinos are re-established next year. Columbus Mavunga for VOA News, Harare.